In the previous tutorial, we used multiple reference values, requiring iteration. Here, our reference is unique, simplifying the approach and allowing direct modification without looping. We face a similar scenario, an online game with dynamic memory addresses, where pointers and keywords are useless. The only viable approach is using offsets based on constant dword values. While this scenario is less likely, it is still possible, as my examples are based on real experience. As usual, the values used in this tutorial are arbitrary, feel free to adjust them based on your required values. We start by setting the memory range to code app to reduce search results. Then hide the game guardian interface to keep the game screen clean while the script scans the memory. The code searches for the number 5000 in the game's memory. It looks for this number as a 4-byte value, called a D-word. It searches for an exact match, meaning it won't look for fuzzy or encrypted values. The search is done in the entire memory, starting from the beginning. The search condition used is exactly equal, meaning it will only find values that are exactly 5000. If the number of results found by the search is zero, then the code will display a message and wait for two seconds before stopping. The code retrieves the first result from the search using getResults function, which gets one result without any specific filter. Then it adds this result to the list of items. If the variable copy is not set, the code will remove the item from the list using the remove list items function. This block goes through each item in the list T one by one. For each item, it changes the memory address by subtracting eight. If the variable copy is set to true, the code adds the text length two to the item's name. This is likely done to indicate that the item is a duplicate or modified version of the original. For example, if the original item name is health, the name becomes health length 2 to distinguish it as a copy or a second instance of that item. This block adds the items from the list T to Game Guardian's list using add list items. Then it clears the list T and sets the variable copy to nil, essentially resetting it. At the end, it clears the search results.
Here, we retrieve all the items in the list. Then, the code loops through each item in the list, and for each item, it changes the value field to 120. The last block sets the modified values in memory using the setValues function. It then clears the list. After that, a message is displayed using the toast function. Finally, the script pauses for two seconds using the sleep function to allow time for the message to be seen. In conclusion, in our previous tutorial, we searched for multiple values and checked several offsets until we identified the desired value to edit. This was necessary because the values we were working with were not unique, and we had to go through different potential offsets to locate the correct one. However, in this case, we are dealing with a unique constant value that produces a single result from the entire search. This makes the process much more direct and efficient, as there is no need to check multiple values or offsets. The unique value leads us straight to the result, allowing for a more straightforward approach to editing the memory.